Hi, I'm Neha Das. And I'm Kristen Morse. And we are going to present the paper on learning state-dependent losses for inverse dynamics learning. The overall goal we're aiming to address with this work is the development of a framework that enables fast adaptation to novel settings. As an instance of where such an adaptation is needed, take the case of a KUKA arm that moves in accordance with a higher level policy. This policy outputs actions in the form of end effect reposes or joint positions. A low level controller then accepts these desired actions and converts them into appropriate torque commands that are then supplied to the robot. In this example, the green line extending from the robot's end effector shows the action trajectory it's supposed to follow. Without an object in hand, the controller is able to execute this trajectory perfectly. With an object in the gripper, however, the controller is not able to execute the same trajectory, not having been adjusted for the extra mass it's gripping in, in the end effector. One solution to this problem is to adapt the controller quickly to a novel scenario as it arises. The learnable controller that we want to adapt takes the current and gold joint configurations as inputs and outputs torque values. Details about this controller can be found in our paper. The controller can be trained on some collected data set by optimizing a standard error such as mean squared error. To adapt the controller to a novel scenario online, the controller would need to be retrained on streamed data from the environment using MSC loss. The online adaptation of a robot controller needs to be computationally efficient, data efficient, and safe. Our work particularly helps with the first two. Instead of using the standard MSC loss to adapt our controller, we use learned losses. When adapting the controller with our state dependent loss, fewer number of gradient steps and less observations are needed. Learning the loss function that is used to train the model comes under the purview of meta-learning. To, to train a model with parameters omega to fit a data set of tuples x, y, one needs to initialize the model, pick a learning rate, pick an optimizer, and a loss function. Typically, these quantities are called hyperparameters and are fixed. In meta-learning, all these quantities can be learnable. We particularly focus on learning the loss function. We first train a loss function with parameters phi using bi-level optimization framework. We use the library higher to compute the metagradients and update phi. This training is performed on data collected with the real KUKA arm, moving in a trajectory where the joint angles follow a sine motion. This data is collected at various frequencies between 0 0.02 and 0 0.08. Our proposed loss function is structured and state dependent the, learning the learnable parameters phi of the loss are actually weights assigned to each of the dimensions of the error between predicted torque and actual torque values. These weights phi depend on the current configuration of the robot. The intuition behind this is that the robot dynamics change depending on the current state of the robot. For example, a little more torque may be needed at some states to move the arm out of these positions due to static friction. We compare our loss with several baselines standard MSC loss, an unstructured MLP which takes the predicted and actual torque values and predicts a loss as proposed in the work by Bechtel, and a structured loss similar to our proposed loss function, but one that does not depend on the state. Finally, we use the meta losses trained on the sign motion data where the robot had no object in the gripper to adapt the controller to a pick and place scenario where the robot executes several motions with a milk carton in the gripper. These graphs record the progress of our meta-training procedure. The x-axis records the number of meta-epochs, and the y-axis records the mean squared error between the predicted and the actual torques when the controller is trained with the indicated losses. The controller trained with an MEC loss has a constant performance throughout the meta-epochs since the loss is a constant function. Optimizing with state-dependent losses leads to the minimum controller prediction errors. During the test time of our experiment, we adapt our model to five different motions of a pick and place task. In these plots, the x-axis represents the number of rollout steps, and the y-axis again shows the MSE of the model predictions when optimized with different learned or standard losses, all trained with a stochastic gradient descent optimizer. We show that amongst all, the controller or model trained with the state-dependent loss has the flattest curve and the lowest error.
which means that it adapts significantly quickly to the online data stream as compared to all the other losses. This is true for all the motions of the task. Online adaptation with state-dependent loss additionally outperforms controller training with MSE losses when using adaptive optimizers such as Adam. Our takeaway here is that the learned state-dependent loss outperform domain invariant standard losses, and learned losses can transfer to out-of-distribution meta-test scenarios. Thank you for your attention.